Hey, what's happening? It's your boy Benny Hanna back with another video. You already know how we doing. I hope everybody's having a great day. Hope the work week's been going good so far. It, what's today? It's Monday. So, I don't know. If y'all working on the weekend, I hope all that stuff went good too. If y'all there traveling and partying and doing what you do, do what you do. Take care of your family. You already know. Take care of your kids. You know, if you got the wifey taking care of the wifey, you already know how we popping. All right, so we back with another video. Like I said before, oh, ho, ho, before we even start, shout out to the Team USA, you know, tied for the most golds, but we got the most medals in general. So we won the Olympics. We won the Olympics. That It was light, man. It was light. That light pack. Um... Uh, well, let's start this video, man. Um, I don't know if y'all have been, but most of y'all have been, been following this YSL case. I've been following it here and there, you know. I know that they got a lot of uh, people that was telling from the get-go, you know, a lot of people working with the people. And if you don't know who the people are, that is either the feds. Or the regular Atlanta police. Now, YSL Woody is right here. This bald-headed guy right here that's on stand. And he was caught up by the police. And he sat down in the interrogation room and got interrogated. And guess what he did in the interrogation room? Oh, you guessed it. He went in there, he told them people valuable information about what YSL was doing. At that time, he got caught in before that, and also, he was an informant from 2015 to when, whenever this case broke and everybody got locked up. Um, it was a couple of them. I'm pretty sure it was a couple of them. I can't remember. My mind's kind of foggy about it right now, but... He is the star, the state star witness. Um, they say that he has immunity, but I don't know if he has federal immunity. So he's up here. They got him back on stand. And this boy, man. Man, if you in the streets, man, and you really in the streets, this is something that can really happen to you for real. You can be caught up in a RICO. You can be caught up while you're doing a crime. And when you do a crime, you're not just going straight home. But it seems like, yo, know, people's going home because especially in Texas and places like that, man, these dudes got attempted murder charges and going home. So I don't really know. But, you know, for the most part, if you get locked up, man, you ain't going home, dog. You, you going to sit right there. They got these dudes on freaking murder charges drug charges stolen stolen property charges and all that other stuff so um this guy woody man so he is a idiot he should have stayed quiet from the get-go back in 2015 but i'm not telling nobody how to live but like this is the life you live like he already said him and somebody else was a part of shooting Rich Homie Kwan's dad's house or place of business or something like that. So you just got to live with it. When you're in the street shooting people up and doing all this monkey, you got you to gotta stand on it. And a lot of these young boys, they ain't standing on it. They ain't standing on nothing. You know? They just want to do all the wild stuff. But when they get in trouble, oh, he did it. He did it. I was with him. Oh, he did it. He did it. Oh, it's him. You know, so. Um, so now he has immunity. And the lawyer is actually asking him. Well, the district attorney is actually asking him more questions. And man. This slow Bama is doing some stuff I ain't never seen in a courtroom ever in my life. Um, but yeah, here's a video, you know, and let's check this video out, man. Let's check it out. Let's check it out. 
Sustain. Sustain. Do you recall speaking with law enforcement about an individual that you know by the name of Shell Cow? I don't recall. <clears throat> Why'd you recall when you were doing that public interrogation on this bitch ass nigga? I want to go back to December of 2014 and into January of 2015. Oh, were you present at a gambling house in Lakewood uh, when a shooting occurred? I don't recall. Sit, stay, and trust fall. Oh, man. Let me ask you. <clears throat> Also, back in 2015, do you remember being at a Cascade skating ring speaking with an individual by the name of Shell Cow? I don't recall. Okay, so why this is so funny to me is because now everything's I don't recall, right? But why don't you re why did you recall everything in 2015? Oh, now he got immunity. You bitch ass nigga. Look. Look, I look. Oh, man. This is sad. And the sad thing is is that YSL don't got this nigga up out the way, man. He 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 need to be up out the way, man. I want to see how real Gangsy. I want to see how Gangsy y'all are for real. Yeah, I want to see. I want to see how Gangsy y'all are. Cause he 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 ate hey, luck. He breathing. He breathing, bruh. He breathing. We go, we gonna we gonna see we gonna see what y'all do. We gonna see what y'all do. We gonna see we gonna see how he gonna end up. We gonna see if he gonna end up missing. Y'all gangsters. We gonna see he. He been he he been on the stand a long time. He been he been on the stand a lot too. Yeah, but he's he's still on the stand telling. Yeah, he's still on the stand telling, bro. He don't recall nothing. You bitch ass nigga, man. You bitch ass nigga. You bitch ass nigga. And I dare nigga. You bitch ass nigga. This nigga bitch. Bitch ass. Look at him. Look at him. That's how bitch ass nigga look. Look, look, look at him. Bitch ass nigga. Let me, let me start the video again. Back in January of 2015, do you recall being at a um, club, Club Crucial, and getting into a fight with an individual by the name of Shell Cow? I don't recall nothing that happened years ago. All right. Okay, so why did you recall? When you got interrogated in 2015, you recalled everything then. Now you trying to go back on what you said. Oh, man. Oh, man. Do you recall in January of 2015 having to go to the Atlanta Police Department to talk about a murk, to talk about whether or not you were involved in the murder of an individual by the name of Donovan Thomas Jr. Say that again. Do you recall in January of 2015 having to go to the Atlanta Police Department to speak about your potential involvement in the murder of Donovan Thomas Jr.? I don't recall. All right. <clears throat> hey, hey, look, 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 look. When you first get grabbed up by the police, first get locked up, they interrogate you. Where's my lawyer? I need my lawyer. I don't recall. He already too late for the I don't recall stuff. He already too late. He too late. I don't recall. Should have been not recall. You got to go out like a soldier, man. These niggas not going out like soldiers. These niggas going out like bitches. He's a bitch. Like, real shit, man. Like, I don't care how many niggas he shot at or whatever. The bitch. 
It's a bitch ass nigga, man. Straight up, man. In January, on January 11, 2015, did you go to the Atlanta Police Department at about 3 o'clock in the morning? I don't recall. Okay. And did you speak with a detective by the name of Detective Sore? I don't recall who I speak with. I don't recall. Okay. And during that interview, did you go down there to speak with the murder, to speak with him about the murder of Donovan Thomas Jr.? So they're going over everything that he was talk. He talked to the um, the interrogator about back in 2015. That's why he keep going after he already told and was an informant for it, the the years that he was an informant for. Now he told him he don't recall. So now he's going back and recanting his statement after he already um, after he already. Um, was an informant for the years that he was from 2015 to whenever YSL got snatched up and they did the Rico thing. I want to say that was back in 2000, 2021. I, I'm pretty sure. I can't really remember. I don't recall. Let me say what he said. I don't recall. But I want to say it was 2021. But I want I want to fast forward this, right? I want to fast forward to when he started getting frustrated. This is when it comes. Look, look at, look at this. Look at this. Oh, I don't recall. Okay. And when I'm I say not, is that Donovan <laughs> Thomas Jr.? <laughs> I don't recall. Uh, you asking me that? I am asking you that. <sighs> say it again. Sure. Say it again. <laughs> Do you know a person that goes by the name of Nut? I don't recall. Okay. Now, in that same interview, do you did you tell Detective Thorpe about you and Kel getting into the fight at Club Crucial? I don't recall. Nothing from 2015, 14, 16, none of it. Okay. And during that same interview, did you um, tell Detective Thorpe that you and Kel had been in a beef for maybe about no longer than four months? And this is back in 2015. And you still alive? My question is, did you tell Detective Thorpe that you, Michelle Kel, at that time in 2015, had a beef? And it was probably going on around four months at that time. You the right. <sighs> I tell the detective whatever they want me to say, whatever they want to hear, whatever, whatever. So if I said it to him, I said it to him. I don't recall what I said to no police. Okay. And during that same interview, you did you tell you Detective rap. Thorpe Most of y I said, rap. that whenever y'all were in the club, y'all would initially just throw up birds at each other? Throw <laughs> birds, bitch. Huh? In this January 11, 2000 interview, did you tell Very Detective Thorpe right? that initially when you and Shokel were in the club, y'all never really fist fought. Y'all just would throw up birds at each other. Like I told you before y'all called me to trial, I have lied. I made things up. Oh, they I told you this before y'all brought me in this courtroom. They put the pressure on them. I mean, and I'm telling you now. Pressure on them, I guess. You asked me about 2015. I have got my life together. Y'all trying to put this on my conscience. Y'all trying to put people's life in my hands. I don't lie on people. I don't want to be here. Y'all have pressured me. I'm tired of y'all. Because y'all know y'all are wrong. And y'all black people doing this to us. And I understand that. Leave me alone. Let me leave. Man, y'all pissing me off. Listen, I don't recall <laughs> nothing I said to no police. Stop asking me these questions. Okay. I'm telling you, I don't recall. I understand, but we're going to have to get through the questions. You can just continue to say you don't recall. If that's <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, man. You always got to keep your cool, man. Um, and we all rats got to die.
2024, 5 and all up, man. Hey, YSL, most of y'all niggas, y'all niggas read it. It's okay. Y'all read it. Y'all good. Because nobody going to touch y'all. Y'all going to just walk around here and just keep telling. But this is a prime example of why we need to stay out of the streets. And why we need to do better things with our time. Because most of us, when we get into these pressure situations, we burst. We break. That's real rap. I'm talking about any color, any any culture. Most of us is breaking. Most of us is telling. Stay out the streets, man. Go get you a job. Finish school. Do a trade. Create a business. You know, be a manager somewhere. Go go do something more productive, man. Cause you always gonna have some bitch ass niggas like this, Woody. You gonna have bitch ass niggas like this. And I'm not saying that he never did no gangster shit. Cause he probably did some gangster shit. But at the end of the day he a rat. And thug and them ain't handle this. And it might take a while for them to handle it for it. You know cause they gonna have to do this real strategic. It can't have anybody's name on it. You know. They probably don't want it to come back to them right now. But. He said, yo, he should be in court still, man. He should be he should be in a box in the ground, man. He should be in the ground. So, I don't know, man. Street niggas going out bad again, man. For the millionth time, they going out bad, man. Shout out to all the real ones. If you're in the street, shout out to all the real ones in the streets. That's really going to do their job. Majority of y'all not going to do y'all time. Y'all new school. New school ratting. So. It just is what it is. But Woody. You should have not recalled when they snatched you up in 2015. And you was talking to that interrogation room. Telling them everything. Telling them everything. Told them everything. Told on your man. Your dead man now. Yes. Man I don't know man. Hey, leave a comment in the comment section. You know, I'm happy that y'all sat through the video and watched, man. But leave a comment. Let me see how y'all feel about what's going on. Because I think I think he a hoe. And I think this is making all that street stuff, man. Hey, look. It's dead. The street's dead. The street's been dead. The street's been dead, man. So stay for, for, for the youngins, stay out the streets, man. Stop trying to follow these, 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 these niggas that's old in y'all because they probably already told anyway. They've been telling. So, um, y'all make sure y'all have a productive week until the next video. You already know it's little Benny Hanna back again. Y'all take it easy and, and fuck, fuck Woody, nigga. Fuck Woody. Fuck. Hey, look, Vlad, stop putting this. Hey, look. Y'all gangsters, y'all niggas, stop putting this nigga on y'all shows, man. I'm telling y'all, y'all keep on getting, y'all keep on rewarding this rat shit. Stop rewarding it. Fuck them. Fuck these rats, man. Fuck them. Fuck all the rats. Yeah, we out. I'm gone, man. Boom.